क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट लेट द एफ डैश एक्स इक्वल टू ई पावर साइन एक्स अपॉन एक्स एंड एक्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड द गिवन कंडीशन इज दैट इंटीग्रेशन वन टू फोर थ्री अपॉन एक्स ई पावर साइन एक्स क्यूब डी एक्स इक्वल टू एफ के माइनस एफ वन देन फाइन द पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ के एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सिक्सटी फोर नाउ पुट एक्स क्यूब इक्वल टू टी then we get 3x square dx equal to dt put this values in a given tray integration then the integration become integration 1 to 64 e power sin t upon t dt replace the value of e power sin t upon t equal to f dash t and comparing the both side the result we get k equal to 64 for quadratic is of entity type here we have f is the function from r to r that is sign the inequality mod of fx is less than or equal to 2 times x square that will be true for all the real numbers and we have to find the value of derivative uh, in fact f dash at 0 that is f going to be differentiable at x equal to 0 now since we have fx is less than or equal to 2 times x square that will be true for all x in r So in particular, that is going to be true for x is equal to zero. So when we will put x equal to zero in this inequality, then we have mod of f is less than equal to zero. So magnitude cannot be less than equal to zero. So in particular, f x f at zero is equal to zero. Now, by the definition of derivative at a point we have f at at 0 is equal to limit x tending to 0 f at 0 sorry limit x tending to 0 f at h minus f at 0 divided by h so that will be equal to limit x tending to 0 f at h divided by h since f at 0 is equal to 0 so basically now we want to find the value of this limit so for this take mod of f at f at h divided by h so since we know mod of f at h is less than equal to 2 times h square so we have mod of f at h divided by h is less than equal to mod of 2 times h square divided by mod of h that will be equal to 2 times mod of h so this inequality we can write as as f at h divided by h lies between 2 times mod of h and In fact, minus two times mod of x and plus two times mod of x. So then, the by using Sandvik's theorem, we have the limit of this inequality. That is, limit x tending to zero. F is divided by x is equal to zero. So we have f dash at zero is equal to zero. So zero is our. Our question is any two type. Here we have f. is a function which is differentiable for all the real numbers and we will satisfy the given equation that is x square plus f x minus 2 times x plus 2 to 3 minus 3 minus 2 to 3 f x is equal to 0 going to be whole for all x and we have to find the greatest integer of f x root 3 so by the way we can also find f x root 3 okay now we have f is differentiable for all the real numbers